I'm Emilio Pasmino, and this is the Cuban Tree Frog. Yesterday, I was out looking for a lizard that I really want to show you guys. Hopefully, I'm able to make a video on it soon. And when I reached into a plant, I felt something bite my finger. Pulled my hand out, and it was this little guy. This is the Cuban tree frog. As you can probably tell by the name, this is yet another of the many invasive species of reptiles and amphibians that have established populations in Florida. The main theory on how they got there is by stowing away on ships that came from Cuba, hiding amongst plants and fruits. Regardless of how they actually got here, what is for sure is that they're causing a big impact on the ecosystem. These guys are much bigger than our native tree frogs, and they will hunt them aggressively. In fact, I have never seen a native species myself, like the American green tree frog. These guys have completely wiped them out in this area. Apart from their larger size, there is a way to definitively know if this is a Cuban tree frog or not. Most amphibians have smooth, loose skin, but the Cuban tree frog has skin on its head that is fused with its skull. So it's rigid and it does not move no matter how much I try to pull it. So you see here, and then here. This does not happen with the native species. The reason they have a hard head like this is to conserve moisture. But here in Florida, we have very high humidity, so that's not a problem. They are a nocturnal species and have very large eyes that help them see at night. They have very large topaz, which look kind of like discs at the end of their fingers. They act like suction cups and help them climb up smooth surfaces. Something I find really cool about these guys is that they can change color depending on their temperature and the, and the environment they're in. Right now he is a greenish brown color with darker spots all over his body. But yesterday when I got him, he was pale with no spots. Even though they have already conquered Florida, they are continuing to spread up north. Recently, a population was discovered in New Orleans, Louisiana. The only thing that can stop them from going further north is the cold. So we're going to see how far their range will be able to expand before the freeze gets them. They reproduce very quickly. A female can lay up to 4,000 eggs in a single clutch. As I mentioned before, these guys are very aggressive predators and will eat pretty much anything that they can fit in their mouth. This guy is not as big as I get. I've seen them grow to about twice as large as this. So judging by his size, I'd say he can eat uh, insects, maybe a small lizard. Oh, and they're also cannibals. They will eat smaller Cuban tree frogs. To defend themselves from predators, these guys produce a toxic mucus on their skin that can potentially irritate your eyes. So as soon as we let this guy go, I'm gonna have to wash my hands really well. Even though this is an invasive species, there's already so many of them that there's really no point in killing him. So we're just gonna let him go. Till next time.